All right, mofos, welcome back. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to use model forms. And before I even talk to you guys about what those are, I just wanna mention that I know you probably noticed the design of my webpage changed a little bit. And that's because I just designed it to make it look pretty real quick. And I didn't really add any Django functionality or anything special. So none of these new links or buttons even work. So all of these things right here. And the reason that I did that is because I know that this is a Django tutorial and that's what I'm supposed to be teaching you guys. So I don't want to waste a bunch of your time, you know, having you sit there and watch me make these designs in Bootstrap when I'm sure that you already know Bootstrap. So I figure and I might as well just go ahead and make the design, save you guys some time. So there you go. And actually the design of your website, it doesn't really matter to Django. So design it however you want. As long as you follow along with these tutorials, you guys are going to be learning the basics of Django. So in this tutorial, like I said, model forms. What are model forms and why do we need them? Well, model forms help us speed up development whenever we include forms on our website. And they do this by saving you a bunch of time by A, generating the actual HTML code for the forms, B, taking care of basic form validation, so for example, whenever we have a form and we need the user to input the album name, if they just don't type anything at all, it's gonna say, hey, this can't be blank, you need to write something in here, so on and so forth. And the last thing is they actually take care of saving that data to the database. So we looked at how we can do this manually using that database shell or command line, and we also looked at how we can do it in the admin panel. Well, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a form in this tutorial where the user can type in all the information for a new album and then it can go ahead and save it all behind the scenes we don't have to worry about any of the hard work so first things first go ahead and hop over to models.py and we need to import one other module and that's from Django core URL resolvers imports reverse all right so what we need to do is this you know how I said that in this example, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a real basic form that lets the user type in the album name and the artist and the genre and also a logo and they hit submit. Well, whenever they hit submit and it adds it to the database, where are they going to be redirected? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually redirect them to this page right here. I think it'll be cool if after they submit the form, then they are kind of taken to that album page so they see, all right, I need to add a song now, tomato, tomato. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And in order to do that, just go ahead and import this. Like we just did. Now above this to string function, we're gonna add another one. So that's def get absolute URL pass in self. And what we're gonna return is essentially the details page of the album that we just created and I'm getting error because I just made this function and I didn't write anything in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna return reverse and the first parameter is the view name. So that was music detail. Now remember, whenever we use this detail view, what it takes is the primary key of whatever album we're trying to view the details of. So how do we pass that in? Well, the primary key is kind of a hidden field right here. And in order to pass it in, just write key w args. In other words, keyword args. And we just want to use the primary key of whatever this object is, whatever one we just created. So self pk. So there you go. So whenever we create a new album, it's gonna add it to the database, it's gonna give it some primary key, like five or six or seven or whatever, and it's gonna take it to this detail view with whatever number the primary key is. Simple enough. So the next step in this process is to hop over to your views and let me give myself a little bit of room. All right, so we're gonna add a new class that essentially creates this form view, but in order to do that, we actually need to import it. So generic, I'll just do this from Django views, 
generic edit import create view. All right. So basically, whenever you want to make a form to create a new object, what you need to import is this create view. Now there's also update view. Might as well go ahead and import those right now. So update view, this is the form for editing an object. And there's also delete view. So this isn't an actual form that you can see because whenever you delete an object, you don't need to fill out a form. You just hit delete and then it redirects you somewhere. But we'll take a look at that in the next tutorial. For right now, we are really just worried about this, the create view. So whenever we create our class to add a new album, what we're going to do is this class album create. We're going to inherit from create view. So the first thing it says is, all right, you're trying to create a new object. What type of object are you trying to create? Well, just like before, we need to specify it right there. So model equals album. All right, you're trying to create a new album. That's fantastic. Now, the only other thing you need to write are what fields do you need? So what attributes do you want me to allow the user to fill out? Now, you need to specify these because sometimes you just don't want to put all the fields in there. Maybe you want to, I don't know, like make a crawler that gets the logo automatically or just fill in the genre behind the scenes or something. But in this example, we're just going to allow the users to type in every single thing. So in order to specify that, just write fields and you put those as a list. So they're going to be able to type in the artist. The album title was this one genre and album logo. Logo. All right. So that looks pretty good right there. Now, the last thing we need to do in terms of setting up um, kind of in the code is over in URLs, we need to assign a URL pattern to this view right here. So URL, you already know the basics of it, a regular expression. And what I'm gonna do is this album. Why is it showing me weird colors? Add dollar sign and views dot album create as view of course just like before because it is a class we do need to convert it to a view. And the last thing is the name. So the name of this is going to be equal to album hyphen or minus add here what I should probably do is this I had a little comment above so you guys can see the URL structure so this is music album add right like that and the reason that we don't need to specify a primary key is just because we're creating a new album so it doesn't have a primary key yet after we add it and after we create it, that's when it's going to be assigned a unique ID, aka primary key. So now we got a form generated, but what we have to do after this is we actually need to make a template that we can plug it into. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video.